think it's going live now. All right, so as you can see, this is the uh, Resident Evil 3 Raccoon City demo. Um, I am streaming this from an Xbox One. Um, the PS4 and the PC version isn't out yet. So I actually have to do it this way. Um, just so you can guys, just so you guys can kind of, you know, get an idea of, of this demo. <clears throat> I'll try not to talk through the cutscenes. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. So I've trail. already had a chance to uh, to play through it. All right. It's really good. Um, Nemesis, his AI. I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous. Little Easter egg here. Um, so when you come, if you download the demo, you know tonight, tomorrow, whenever, whenever you can. Um, you come out the train if you come out the train make a left there's really nothing over here except for you know maybe some posters some, some references that you might uh, remember for other Capcom games and a little advertising um, but really on the other side of these boxes here which you got to cut through the train uh, really you're going to want to go out here they really took a chunk out of you. and first you know grab Whatever's down here, I'm not gonna read all this stuff. Let you guys do that your own. Um, so I think what I'll do this run, my strategy is going to be to uh, kill all the zombies uh, with the handgun, and then see if I can take Nemesis down. Now you can't actually take Nemesis down like you can't kill him or anything like that. You know, it's kind of like Resident Evil 2. Well, it's just like Resident Evil 2 with Mr. X. You know, you put him down, he takes a knee, and um. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. So yeah, if you do it, if you you know, if you do it right, um, you, can, you can take him down, get him to take a knee. 
What I think is really cool about this demo, besides obviously the graphics are actually really good. Um, don't know what that was, but okay. The graphics are really good. I'm, I'm actually playing on an Xbox One right now. Uh, so this is the Xbox One version. And through, uh, through game streaming to my PC, I'm capturing it um, with OBS right now. Uh, which allows me to have the video, the audio, and the voiceover. When I tried to, when I tried to uh, just use Mixer, for whatever reason, um, I mean, I don't know much about Mixer. It's the first time I ever used Mixer, but for whatever reason, the stream would go, and my buddies would be able to hear the audio just fine. But then when I tried to open it up in a web page on my uh, on my machine, I couldn't hear any audio. Um, I don't know why that is, so I decided to go ahead and do this, do it this way uh, via game streaming. So one technique I'm kind of doing uh, with the zombies in this demo, this is my third, maybe fourth, definitely, yeah, it's my third uh, run through. So what I've been doing is uh, I've been dispatching the zombies, making sure they stay down, uh, which, you know, the knife will help you with that. So hold on to the knife. Um, my first playthrough, I was like, "Oh, I'm not going to use the knife," it's, you know, and, and I ended up wasting wasting ammo, of course. So what you kind of want to do, you want to you want to put them down, get them to the point where the, the zombies fall down, and just knife them. You know, that's old school. Okay, more survivors. We've got to get that train moving. That's old school tactics, just to knife them. Uh, the, uh, the dodge, oh man, the dodge in this game is freaking awesome. My aim is not so awesome. Um, so yeah, like when they're down like this, you know, knife as many times as you can. If you do it enough times before they get up, then they won't get up. And they're down for good. Um, and until you reach a point where new zombies spawn, but that doesn't happen too often. Um, I know it happens at least once that I experience. Um, there are Easter eggs in here. You know, you got the uh, these little guys. I don't know if they're Mr. Chan dolls or something. Whatever they call them, but you'll see these little bobblehead dolls. Um, I didn't want to shoot any of them because I didn't know if they were going to go away like they do in uh, like the Resident Evil 2. Um, so what I plan on doing, I'm planning on just I'll be I'll be running this game live, you know, as long as I can. Um, if I'm get ready to take a break, you know, I'll let you guys know. Um, please like and subscribe, uh, Robbie Robot Retro Games. I, if you check my bios, um, I post a lot of, uh, PC gaming, um, game console emulation videos as well, uh, performance test videos, um, I'm starting to do voiceovers which is something I hadn't done in the past um, my last video was kind of my first first foray into uh, doing the voiceover thing um, I don't want to talk too much while I'm trying to get these guys out of here and you know, knife him as many times as possible. But you see that guy right there, like he he was acting like, oh, he's he wasn't gonna get up and then you knife him over and over again and you realize, yeah, he is alive and he's gonna try to get up. So, you know, knife him over and over again. I mean, knife him, you know, five, six times, you know, till you're satisfied that they're down. Uh, and you won't get those guys moving around again on you. And save you some ammo. 
Sometimes you can put them down with just a few bullets and uh, stick with the knife a few times. So, as you can see, the, the quick step is really, is really easy to use in this game. Um, if you hit it right, um, you probably be seeing some other videos and everything like that. Um, when I played my second playthrough, the one before this, I actually, I actually killed these zombies. Don't waste your time with these zombies. Just don't waste ammo, because um, they're gonna respawn. Those zombies will respawn. Uh, this door right here, you see, it's got the chain on there. We'll come back to there. Gunpowder. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Yeah. Dirty Jill. So, so like I said, if you kill them while they're behind the gate, um, you just be wasting your time. You're gonna get right back up. Uh, I mean, they're gonna respawn because that cutscene has to happen where they knock the gate down. So, don't even waste your time. After a few knife, knife hits, you know, then they'll really let you know whether they're alive or not. The first two or three, they might not even react to them while they're down. Ah, uh, he's done. I see, it seems like I usually do about six of them with the guardy stacks. Yeah. Usually do about six of them before I'm satisfied that they're not going to move anymore. Um, and I dispatched all the, um, killed all the zombies with, uh, with handgun ammo. Uh, my last, my last, uh, playthrough. There's plenty of ammo, so, um, especially if you, you know, use this technique where you're, where you're getting them down. Sometimes, of course, this will happen. Um, but for the most part, see, you, see, you only need to be stabbed one more time. Um, and I tend to save explosive barrels. Listen. Um, for for the big guy, Nemi. amount of health in the game too. If you can engage a zombie one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you can 
knife and make sure they're not going to get up a lot easier. But when you got a knife, several zombies to make sure they're down. Some of them are going to get up. Probably caution now. Yeah, I'm going to caution. Should be some items. I feel like I know where most of the items are now. Just from doing a couple playthroughs. And one of the first things that, that you probably want to get um, is open this open the safe. So once you come down here, you could you could actually go through there and make it to the other side. But I'm gonna I'm gonna head up this way. Because if you don't, the door will be blocked. Um, I'll go up these stairs later. I'm not speed running this, you know. I'm, honestly, I could really just walk through it, let you guys, you know, take it all in, really. Uh, there is going to be a zombie in here. Uh, the code to this. Make sure he's down. Yeah. So the code to this safe, I believe it's 918. And I only know that from playing it through a few times. Uh, and you have a document that I just picked up that will give you a hint on how to obtain this code. Uh, it's, it's basically on a poster in the, uh, in the pharmacy. And once we get to the pharmacy, you know, I'll let you know where I'll show you where that poster is. So that makes the hand got a little more badass. See, he's got the laser sight now. Uh, right around this corner, there's a zombie. See how many times I had to stab him before he actually showed signs that he was still alive. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything in this room. Yeah. So if you come the other way and try to get through this door, this door will actually be jammed by that zombie that's, that we just killed. Uh, and you won't be able to open this door. It will seem like it's locked or you can't open it, but it's only because there's a zombie on the other side pressing against it. And nothing down there. Still double checking on um, where all these items are placed, but for the most part, I feel like I know where they all are. So, there's going to be quite a few zombies down here. So, I'm just going to walk slowly. Uh, there they are. Uh, I kind of let them come up the steps and take care of them as they... as they approach the steps. Um, we don't have to worry about him getting back up. We see that headshot busted his, busted his head open. So, uh, I'm not sure if there's a zombie right Yep, there's a zombie right there. Once you start to see them maybe get to their knees, maybe that's the time when it's, yeah, yeah. That's the time when you should probably back up off them. There's only one, one knife. This barrel right here, I tried to shoot this earlier and apparently that barrel does not blow up. 
that one, out of all the barrels in this demo, that one is inactive. I guess it already blew up and that's why you got to fire there. I don't know, but it looks it looks like all the rest of the barrels, but it did not blow up. So, you know, you can hear a heart beating right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the, use the ammo there. And I'll use this for some uh, handgun ammo. We'll combine these together just for item management. Uh, this guy down here, he is alive. Um, so you want to tap him with a quick headshot if you can. And I still want to make sure, that even though I saw the, that death animation, I still always like to make sure on these guys. I figure the more I play this demo, the less damage I'll take. Because um, I'm still getting caught out there, as you can see. Figuring out what these zombies are going to do. Um, but the knife strat is, uh... The knife strat's pretty good. So this poster right here, that's where you get the code for the safe. 918. And there's a document. Good looking woman, by the way. Uh, there's a document that will let you know uh, to look for well, it'll give you a hint, you know. The Aqua Cure girl. Uh, that's the only way. Um, I think I got, yeah, I got the crate that was over there. <clears throat> There's a little back alley where we came from up there. Um,. That's somewhere we need to go. This explosive barrel explodes. Um, you see these zombies just got up. So, I, like I said, I like to lure them back to the steps. Um, I'm not wasting the barrel because once Nemi comes out, I'm going to want to use that on him. Get his ass going. Not really back up. She's getting up. Trying to play it a little safer than I've been. And nice miss. He's not getting back up. And nice miss. I love how uh, the zombies move move around in this game. Uh, I feel like it's 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 harder to predict. I mean, it was already hard enough in Resident Evil 2. I just feel like they, they did an even better job. Everything is more fluid. Uh, he's got his head. I think none of those guys are getting up there. I think that was the three zombies right there. Yeah. Yeah, so back here you might miss it. But uh, back here, there's some ammo, I believe. Yeah, you got some more handgun ammo. And if I would have cut through the diner, this is where you would have ended up. Uh, which I am going to go in the diner because there is what would be a save point. But, you know, there are really save points and more like checkpoints in the demo. So I didn't get that combined. Really cool demo. If you get a chance to play it uh, ahead of time, um, definitely do so. Um, right now, uh, the only way to play ahead of time is if you have an, uh, an Xbox One. Um, okay, so at this point, we need, really need to uh, go inside the diner and grab 
I don't think there were any zombies in here. Not that we're alive. Well, he might be active. Nope. I think she was. She's not active either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No zombies that are alive in here. So gunpowder there, and on the other side, there's an item right on the opposite side. Handgun ammo here. And that's that's it for the for the diner here. Uh, the shadow effects are cool too. Like when you hit this corner and you look at this plant, you you might think it's a zombie. I mean, it gets me. More, it, that's probably the third time it got me. I thought there was a zombie right there. Uh, so they definitely did that intentionally. Keep you. Keep you on the edge of your seat there. Just creates that illusion. Um, so I'm going to make some shotgun ammo. Because, uh, yeah, you will get the shotgun. Um, and, of course, that ammo can make magnum rounds, but uh, you don't get any magnum rounds in the demo. Which I already knew, like, that they weren't going to give you a magnum in the, de in the demo. That's just, you know, that'd be, that'd be a bit much for you to get magnum rounds in, uh, in the demo here. Um, so we're going to go pick up the shotgun, and we're going to go pick up a few more items. Um, there are actually quite a few items that we still need to pick up. Uh, but in order to pick them up, we probably need to get rid of most of our handgun ammo. Um, cause by the time we get the shotgun, um, that's pretty much all we'll need to use. Depending on how you play this demo, um, we'll let you know how short it is. Um, cause it is a short demo. Uh, it's not time though. So, you know, play to your heart's content. There's going to be a few zombies back here. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the bolt cutters that we just got. Now that we have the bolt cutters, um, before you get uh, the fire hose to put out that fire, you're gonna want to do quite a few things before you pick up the fire hose. Yeah, so as you can see, that guy, uh, he would have gotten up. Once you engage with these two zombies back here around the corner, uh, he becomes activated. Uh, and we'll catch you by surprise. Clean headshot. zombie around the corner that is just chowing down that just got up I'm really wasting ammo right now um, but there's so much ammo in this demo like I said once by the time I can kill all these zombies right here there's only one more zombie to kill uh, before you see Nemi and then the zombies uh, respawn. If you if you listen real good, you can hear all the the gunfire in the background. I thought it was pretty cool uh, when I when I played this the first couple times. It kept me on my toes and I had to look around and make sure nothing was going down. So. You can actually use this barrel back here to kill the zombies and save some ammo. But like I said, this you can just use your handgun. Um, but if you get in the pinch, you can use this right here. You won't be able to use this against Nemesis. 
So when you try to come back into this alley, uh, Nemesis will kind of be like, mm mm mm. So as you can see, what we got right now, um, we still got to get the shoddy and another grenade and some more shoddy ammo. Um, but I think I'll go back here, do a little backtracking, you know, standard, uh, standard operations for a Resident Evil game. Go ahead and dump some of the things that we really don't need right now. We, and believe it or not, we don't really need any health right now. We really kind of don't need that handgun ammo because I don't think, but just in case, uh, I don't think there are going to be any more zombies back right this way since I killed them all. Um, but there are going, there are still two on the rooftop that I didn't go to that I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll show you now before I. Well, first I'll. First, I'll open this door, and then I'll show you. I'll show you that where those zombies are. Um, and then you have another one of those bobblehead guys in here too. Which on the other side of this. All right, so let's get the items. Gunpowder, and there's a first aid. Yeah, first aid spray in here. And this guy, which I think maybe on my next playthrough, maybe I'll try to focus more on where where those guys are. I, I didn't look at any kind of um, uh, content to show me where they are. I'm just gonna work my way through the game slowly, um, you know, just walking speed and see and maybe stand around at times and just kind of look around, look at my surroundings. Um, I saw one in the back of an ambulance. Uh, it was the scene before this. If you go back through that gate, while well, you still can, um, which I could right now. Yeah, I guess I will. I'll go back just to show you. Uh, I'm almost positive that was yeah, back here. Well, as you can see, the zombies, you know, as the ones, uh, the ones I stabbed up, you know, they're they're still down. It's not at the point where they're gonna respawn yet, or any zombies are going to spawn. Uh, so you see that guy right there. So as you're coming out this, the gate here, and I thought it was real cool because she just like dips under the gate, like the animation is just so smooth. I just thought that was cool. You don't, you're not pressing any buttons to do it. You just walk up to the gate, and she just dips right under, and it's just so, it's just so smooth. The way she, the way she uh, handles the knife too, I think is really cool. Um, you can tell she has, you know, that stars training. Um, she's stabbing with precision. You know, Leon is more of a swipe with uh, with Resident Evil 2. He just kind of swipes at things with the knife. But uh, Jill's real precise. She's, she's deadly with it. So we're going to go up to the, um, to the rooftop. We were close to there before. Um, but that's the area I was like, uh, those metal, uh, steps up there, I guess fire escape or whatever you call it. I was, I was like, nah, I'm not going to go up there. So we're going up there now. Uh, we went left to go to the, uh, to the shop guys, uh, storage area. The, the pharmacy owner, owner storage area. So there are guys up here. Uh, on the other side of that pipe right there. Just want to make sure that they're not me out here. See red herb there. 
Um, items aren't randomized. All the items are going to be exactly the same every time in the demo. Um, but it's a man, it's a good taste of what you can expect. It's going to be, it's going to be an amazing, uh, it's going to be an awesome game. So this guy right here, I believe that guy gets up and there should be like two zombies up here. Yeah, there goes the other one. Activated. Pretty sure uh, she was chowing down on something over there. And I'm saving... Uh, seriously. I'm saving that um, barrel over there for Mr. Nemi. Jumper. Are you dead yet? Yeah, I think she's pretty much dead now. Um, up here, I think there's at least one more item. Uh, I believe it's uh, either handgun ammo or it's going to be a uh, gunpowder around right around this corner. Yeah, gunpowder. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, that red barrel right there, that will explode. Uh, might as well save that for Nemi. Pop this ladder down uh, now and less for you to worry about it. Uh, once Nemi comes and greets you. You go over here, she'll start saying. How to put this out. Right. I thought it was real cool. Um, just gonna kinda walk over here. You can see like the the effects of the flames if you get close enough here. Like the heat coming off of it. You see like the uh Yeah, you see that? Like that's what you would see, right? If you were too close to a fire, um, of course you probably isn't really too close to be burning up. But I just thought that that graphics effect was cool. Yeah. Um. So at this point, we've seen every item. Um besides this area that we're about to go to now. So if you take note, you know, take note of where your bowels are, the active ones, this one, uh, the one on the top of the roof there that we came down from, um, the one that's out in the, in the street on the other side of this diner um, that's still there. By the, by the fire that you got to put out. Those are the three red barrels that you can blow up. And uh, also that um, transformer right outside the, uh, keep calling the diner, but I guess it's a donut shop. It looks like a diner to me. I think it's probably still a diner, just they have good donuts, I don't know. Um, but yeah, th those are the things you want to keep note of, those explosives. Um, another playthrough, maybe I'll just blow up zombies with them. And if Nemi gets me, uh, that's fine. But so many different ways to play through the, uh, the demo, definitely. Oh, that's right. I was getting ready to uh, try to execute a uh, a dodge because I haven't been doing that at all uh, in the demo. 
this at least not this playthrough. But uh I failed. Better luck next time. I guess cause, I guess since he's the only one in here, he's gotta be uh a lot to take down. Plus if you're missing like I was just now. Um and you can see what I'm working with with ammo, nine rounds. Um health I'm not really concerned with right now. Uh when you go in here there's not really This must be the subway company's offices. There's not really anything in here. Nothing. Right, huh? Nothing. I mean you get you get this dock and That's it. So the fire hose. Once you pick up this fire hose, uh, you are in Nemi territory. Nemi's gonna pop up. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where Nemi's gonna pop up, but uh, well, maybe I will. I feel like I feel like, I feel like I've you know kind of told you guys enough so you, you know what to, to what to expect. Nothing like playing through it, through it yourself, though. Experiencing it on your own, playing it the way you want to play it. So this is the last uh, chain that we need to cut with the bolt cutters there. And we got us an M3. And another document. Uh, I might, you know, go through slowly and read documents at the same time. Um, so that's just let me know. I can discard items that have that little trash can symbol or recycle bin symbol, whatever you want to call it. Um, so what am I working with here? I got the gunpowder. Um, at this point... As it, at this point, these are, besides this guy right here, that's all the items. Um, and whether you pick this guy up or not, a zombie is going to spawn up here, I believe. Let's test that theory. There he is. Yeah. The last zombie before new zombies um, spawn. When you get to meet, uh, after you get to meet Nemi, of course, you know, new zombies are going to spawn. Making it just that much more difficult for you. Um, so let me go ahead and grab. Let me go ahead and grab this because I'm going to grab this. And that was the quick dodge. I'm sure you've already seen it. But... There's nothing more satisfying than pulling one off. Especially a situation where, I, I mean, just now I didn't have any more ammo. And that's because my my aim has been just horrible this run through. But honestly, like I said, there's plenty of ammo. I'm not going to worry about that zombie. You see, a, see a checkpoint just happen or a save just happen, so... Usually that means something's going to go down. So at this point, you want to go ahead and hold on to your uh, most powerful weapons. You know, you can end up having quite a bit of handgun ammo left here. Um, I don't bother with a knife at this point either. Because um, obviously, you know, we're, we're in enemy territory now, so... Uh, I need to go ahead and combine. <clears throat> um, I feel like I did miss an item. I wonder if I can see it on my map. I feel like I missed a gunpowder. I hope it still shows you. Alright, 
That's the fire hydrant. That's a point of interest. But a large gunpowder, um, high-grade gunpowder, I should say. I feel like I missed that. Not unless there is a, a random, some random uh, item placement here. Because I only have one large gunpowder. Um, maybe I used it earlier and I'm just forgetting about it. That could be the case too. But I don't see any more items items on the map. And if this is anything like um, Resident Evil 2, once you come in contact with an item, um, it'll be on your it'll be on your map. But I will look one more place just in case. Because I feel like that one gunpowder, there should be something to combine with that. So, pretty good chance that I, that I missed it on this playthrough. I think I know where it might be. Um, so, I'm just going to take all my, uh, all my health um, uh, eventually. Let me look for this last, last gunpowder. Uh, I'm gonna play around with Nemesis uh, a little bit if I can. So I remember I looked over here. That was cool. We hit the little back alley. I love I love backtracking in Resident Evil. I just freaking love it. And I'm not even I'm not even being facetious. I really I really do love it. Okay, and they start spawning back. Now that's the first time I experienced that. That was that's actually awesome. Um, I guess once I went in the diner, that triggered them to spawn. Uh oh, you know what? With that save point, we saw that save point come up on the on the screen. That must have triggered them to spawn back. Um. Honestly, I feel like I have enough shotgun shells and grenades and stuff to go ahead and um, and face an enemy. It really doesn't take that much to take him to, uh, him down, um, at least not on, in this demo and on this mode. It's, this is just like normal mode. Um, you, once you take him down, he, you know, he just takes the knee just like, uh, just like Mr. X. See that stunned him. Um, he just made, he just made that zombie into what I would consider a um, a uh, prelude to a, to a liquor. <laughs> nice. That's what I get for not watching my health. Uh, the continue ports are, are a really nice thing in in, the, in this demo. You think they make you start all over? Load time not too bad. I'm I'm running the USB external, um, but it's a uh, it is a uh, laptop hard drive. So you see what it. You know, where we saw it was saving. That's the point that I'm at. That was a continue point. So. Let's go ahead and get the high grade. These guys back again. Um, this time, if I get hit once, I need to make sure I check my health. Um, actually, I really could... Uh, Use that green herb now. Since I um, don't have a red to combine it with anything. Did 
Did I not get the shoddy shells? Nope. So I'm going to stun them just like I did before. If I can pull it off. This time I'm just gonna run somewhere different. I'm gonna run up here, I'm gonna make him chase me. And chase me he will. Uh-huh. That's the zombie, one of the zombies that respawns. Well, I should even say respawns, that spawns. Uh, once you're in a tight quarter like this, most of the time, I've, from what I've seen, the dodge doesn't doesn't actually execute. I think I can take one more hit before. Yeah, there he goes. And light his ass up. And you see, just just that made him take a knee and he'll be there for a little bit so that's that's your one red bow right there um, and then you can stun with the transformer of course uh, more than once what he did to that to that zombie that is freaking gross it is it is like a liquor like a liquor uh liquor prototype oh that is so gross uh, i thought i thought that might have been a um a death right there i was on caution go ahead and reload so let me show you what happens. If you go this way. Hello. That was a nice dodge. I never know when I never know when, oh crap. I never know when uh those those liquor like things are going to uh are going to attack. I was way too close to that barrel. Um, so now he's down and I can climb up here again and I didn't want to climb back down I didn't want to just look down at him at a bad angle and of course the other barrel up here if he's chasing you from either side from that side or I don't know if he will jump up here we're gonna find out because he's definitely he's definitely around here. Well, the music's not on. No more music. Once I use my last piece of health, um, I'm, I'm probably go ahead and exit the exit the demo because if not. We'll have to do that continue point again. He's toying with me. There he goes. Oh crap. Oh crap. See if I can come this way. Ah. Stutter step screwed me up just now. I don't know what the hell that was. And even from that distance, that stunned him. Um, I don't think there are any more explosives. I mean, I can still stun him. 
the transformer down here. I might want to hang around there. Well, not with that damn... Whatever the fuck you call those things. Still wondering where that large, uh, large gunpowder is. Oh, if you try to go back here, and and Nemi's chasing you um, at the time where you hear the Nemi music, you won't be able to get back to this back alley. Since I know there's a barrel back here, I, I'm going to try to. At least that was the case on my second playthrough. I noticed that. I'd like to try to lure him over here. Okay. Oh, crap. oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm in trouble. Okay, I think I can make it. Yeah, leave the door. Will he come in? Yes, he will. That's about it for him. Um, there won't be any more explosive barrels. You can use your shotgun to your heart's content, but you know, with my health, with me not having any more health, that's pretty much game over. So if I'm lucky, um, you know, I'll make it over here, which is which is where uh, journey ends for this playthrough. Um, you know what? I forgot I had grenades. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use those. How do you equip the grenades? You actually have to equip them manually. You can assign them a slot. Uh, you can. What, is, what slot are they assigned? Okay, you can assign them whatever slot you want. So it doesn't automatically assign them a slot. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, we can send them. We can send them uh, a few more times then. Maybe I'll let him spawn at this door and throw a grenade here. Uh, this, this guy. Let get a clean shot at him. Okay. Get him to spawn over here. There he goes. Uh-huh. Back up, buddy. Should be able to get back here now. Why I'm back here, I don't know. I don't know if there are any more explosive barrels back there, I don't recall. But I do have another grenade in case, in case we need to stun them and make a run for it. Oh, maybe next time I can shoot those guys. I didn't point out before that in this room you have the uh, a commemorative basically uh, clock tower puzzle this might this could be a puzzle maybe um, maybe you put the put the jewels in there or whatever uh, presented by kite brothers railway St. Michael's Clock Tower. Clock Tower commemoration. Um, so I, I would think in the, 
They're probably gonna make a puzzle. It's probably gonna be some kind of puzzle um, going on with that. Uh, so yeah, still got another grenade around. I guess in my next go around, I'll find that large. You know what? That large powder is uh, it's in this shop right here. Uh, oh, not right here. Let me go ahead and get this other one. I think I remember where it is. That's the last time that we have the attempt to that we have to stun him other than the 10 shoddy shells is enough to stun him too. Um, hopefully I can get to the store right around this corner here and find what I believe there's a large gunpowder in here. Could be run on. Seeing it. Why the hell is that like gunpowder? There it goes. There it goes. What's my health looking like? Yep. We're caution. And he kinda jumps. He kinda jumps away once you get to a certain point here. I guess to allow you to uh, finish out the demo. These zombies over here, from what, from what I've experienced, have never been a threat. Um, I don't think I've gotten close enough to the gate to see if they can do anything other than just like maybe grab at you or something. I don't know. I think I'm gonna find a large gun powder this this place here. Um Yeah, so we're gonna play through this again. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break then. Then I'll play through it one more time. At least one more time. Guys, enjoy the cutscene coming up here. So like I said, I'll be right back. Should be a movie uh, playing here. There's so many. In here! <laughs> My God. No, no, no! They're gonna get through! Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here! <laughs> Right. You're all right to stretch. Stop and do what? I got your back. Go. Go! Glock sticky. You better hurt. Sorry. Look out! Let's do this.
All right, so I'm back. <clears throat> so it's funny if I go to purchase the game. Um, maybe I can show you. Let's see if it let me show you. If I go to purchase the game, it's going to. Seen anything like it? I haven't been able to sleep for a See, it, see how it's showing New Zealand currency. Don't give the fear out there, right? I am how not in New Zealand. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Send reinforcements. No, wait. Hurry up. Get up. Get up. Help me. Trailer's cool. People be infected. The city is completely cut off, isolated. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an infected. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. They don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Star's office has to be in this direction. It gets worse every night. They don't want the world to know what they've done. What's wrong with Umbrella? Get in! I can't stop them all! You gotta get out of there! You guys are the ones who caused all of this! No, 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 wait! Oh, come on. Ah! We've gotta be dreaming. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Corps. Man, just two weeks left on this thing. <clears throat> you got a lot of good games coming out. So yeah, it only says New Zealand because um, I had to change my um, uh, on the Xbox to get the uh, demo early. I had to change my uh, region uh, location to um, to New Zealand and reboot the Xbox to be able to to play it early. Um, that's why it's actually saying seven o'clock and. Uh, no, no, that's not the, that's not the system time right now. I don't know what I'm looking at. But anyway, uh, I had to had to change it to New Zealand um, because it released a lot earlier than the rest of the world. Uh, New Zealand was was first to drop there, so if you change your console region reboot, you'll be able to download it. Um, if not, you know you won't be able to download it. I think till like 1 p.m. Um, tomorrow or really today the 19th um, all right we're gonna keep playing this thing man I'm gonna play this at least one more time
Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? This city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, well, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. I mean, give me that that right. assault rifle. I mean, that would that would help. Nice machine gun, you know. AK-47. No? Okay. Maybe a first aid spray then. Shit. Kevin. Maybe a... They really took a chunk out no? of you. No? Okay. Nothing that I will miss. UBCS Ammunition <coughs> Crafting Guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Yeah, we know how to mix. Uh, uh, once you've stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. Yeah, kind of hard to do in a Resident Evil game, that's for sure. <clears throat> this one's a long one. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? <laughs> We're here at News Comet. We here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient's Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach roar. Turn the page for the scoop. Okay. Anything over here? Jill? It's me again. You 
Topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> So, I'm going to, what am I doing? I'm going to um, maybe try a little bit of a different strat this time. Uh, last time I pretty much killed all the zombies. Um, and, and you have plenty of ammo to do so. Um, I'll probably just kill the ones maybe I have to. Um, and make Nemi come out. Let's see. UBCS herb field manual. There's no place in the UBCS for pip squeaks who crawl back to the base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo boo? Go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds. So get those recipes memorized. Uh, we don't know. We do know how to mix herbs. Uh. And we know what the first aid spray is. Save that green herb. So I'm going to try to do, I don't know, a bit of run dot strat. Um, not very good at it, at least not yet. Um, but I just want to see what's going to happen. Worst can happen is, uh, get killed. More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Alley is probably this handgun ammo, I believe. And zombies. She's probably still fine, yeah, she's still fine. Powder. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. I love Bill's attitude. Is just like fuck it. <sighs> so I save these uh I save these red barrels for the most part in um in the first I don't know three playthroughs I saved them for Nemesis. Um, I'm just gonna blow zombies up with it this time. Nice shot.
Oh, that's freaking awesome. Am I caution? Yeah, it's caution. It's caution. I know up these steps there are a few zombies. I'm hoping I can um, grab these items and go real quick. Actually, that's right. There's a, um, another explosive up here, so maybe I'll get rid of them with the explosive. There's a gunpowder up here, too. There she is. And they're up. Um, don't really need to do anything with them, though. I could could activate that ladder, though. That might be a good idea. I uh, missed the dodge. This ladder might be a good idea for, um, for Nemesis. The other one too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's still caution. What about those zombies that were down here? They follow me? Nope. They stay. They stay put. That this is the way this door looks. Um, is is definitely a shout out to to the old school Resident Evil 3. I remember seeing doors like that. Um, let me think. Were they? I'm trying to think what area the doors were in that I saw like that in Resident Evil. Maybe the clock tower. It's kind of fancy looking doors. So that's a hint on how to get the uh, code for the safe up here. Um, since I already know what the code is, I'm just going to put it in. And like any, um, what am I doing? Like any combination lock, you know, you roll to the uh, to the right first. This is my fourth playthrough. Yeah. So what I was kind of doing, which I'm not, I'm really running reckless right now. But what I was doing was, um, once I once I take the zombie down with the handgun, um, I'd stab it up with the uh, with the knife to make sure it stays down. And before it gets back up, like almost to starts to get up to its and gets to its knees, kind of back off. Um, this guy's already, I think yeah, he's already done though. I guess I'll show show you what I mean on this zombie over here. If there's no explosive and you got to kind of take him on. You, know, you just kind of get him down and then run up as fast as you can and just start knifing him. And before he gets to his knees, um, stop knifing him. But he didn't get to, the, his knees didn't, he didn't get to the knee bent his bent knee animation where you can tell he's getting ready to really get up but at that point when his knees when their knees bend at that point they can really just lunge at you from the from the floor you know from the ground and lunge at you um okay yeah that's something i hadn't done this whole time I forgot all about the quick turnaround. Um, it's there. That's nice to know. Uh, I'm pretty sure when I go out this door, there's going to be a zombie. Oh, there are plenty of zombies out here, really. So I'm going to use these explosive barrels. Like I said, I wasn't... I was saving them for Nemesis last time, so 
I'm making it harder on myself by using them. But I think it'll be cool. So when you hear your heart beat like that, you know you're in danger. I'm going to kind of wake all these guys up and see if I can get them to... Uh, see if I can get them to gather around this explosive, maybe. Yeah, I took out quite a few of them. That guy's still there. There's another barrel back here, but we don't have the, um, the bolt cutters yet. I guess I'll go ahead and get those now. Boy, where he's, where is he, which way is he going? Some items in here. No zombies in here, not unless they walk in. Looking at these these lockers, I feel like Jill's gonna have her lock pick or something and be able to open up you know, open these lockers up. Possibility. And those are the bolt cutters that we need. So we got a couple gunpowders in there. I think I can take one of those out. Hold on to the knife. Um, I think I'm at call. Yeah, I'm all fine right now. And now that we have the bolt card, we can get some more health from another area. And we're not at risk of seeing, um, seeing Nemesis, and at least not at this point in the demo. So. Um, I think I'm good. Nah, I left these zombies. I left these zombies out here. Yeah. Wasn't the best dodge, but it'll do. So this door here. Which is kind of easy to miss. Got some items in there we can grab. High grade gunpowder. And we're going to need that to uh, make us some shoddy shells. And you can see the little bobblehead guy. Maybe, maybe since I shot that one, I'll go ahead and shoot the other one too. Hey, mister. Miss. Mr. Miss, you okay? This little... Man, that looks awesome. And you can shoot right through the gate. Which is cool. Sure, he doesn't get up again. Nice shadow effects there. No ray tracing, but shit, baked in looks good. And look, at my man just chilling right there. Hello, buddy. As soon as I try to walk past him, he's gonna grab me. Grab me anyway if I'm not careful. Piss him off a little bit. I don't know if I'm hitting him or not. Oh, didn't get the dodge. I think he's still, still stuck in the uh, 
firing the handgun animation. Just gonna make sure he's down. I'm still on fine, okay. So, okay, what was I going back? Oh yeah, I was going back here for that, uh, that little bobblehead guy. That should have been a dodge, I would think, but that's not. Started to do a dodge, but I guess wasn't lucky that time. You usually put them down with like three or four bullets and, um, you know, run up and do this here. He was getting ready to get up, so I started to, started to cut out. What you get in there? Doesn't look like an area that you, uh, maybe, well, maybe in the full version you're able to get in there or something, who knows. Curious to see if uh, on my next playthrough will will those guys come back? It's so sensitive this this little area here. You don't have to press anything to go into that animation to get to the other side. And if you just nudge yourself back, she'll go right back. It's just so smooth. I was playing. Uh, yeah, there's another one there. I was playing this uh, earlier. Uh, one of my buddies hopped on uh, Mixer, which Mixer is god awful. Um, but anyway, uh, one of my buddies hopped on Mixer, and um, I mean, we were we were enjoying, you know, some of the stuff that was going on with the uh, with the gameplay. Um, it's. You know, just can't wait till the full game comes out. Uh, I'm, on, I'm going back to the subway for reasons unknown. You know, it's only a demo, so you only really get but so much out of it, you know. So when you kind of wander around aimlessly, which is kind of what I'm doing. I mean, I know where to go, but I'm kind of just making it last longer than uh, than what it is. And, you know, maybe you guys, I don't know, either can't download the demo or don't have the means uh, to play it right now on the platform uh, that you like to play it on. And I don't know, maybe you want to look at some some details. I think that's cool. I wonder if they'll have that in the um, in the finished, you know, finished version. I wouldn't think so. But, uh, you know, they're probably going to do some other kind of shout outs. Freak Cinema, 1998. This year's top films. Sophia. Confide in me, plus more 1998 hits inside. Sam Hunts. Sam Hunts. Sam Hunts is... The Butler of the Dead. Movie listing inside. Oh, God. Cheesy uh, 90s stuff. Look at this one. No shame. No shame. It's really nice looking, actually. Like the texture. Texture's really nice looking on that. This game is noticeably um, better looking than... Uh, Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 was a good-looking game, but yeah, this one definitely um, it's got it got a little extra polish on it, and the movements are, you know, animations are better. Featuring several special guests, September 30th, 1998. Doors open at seven. I think that says seven p.m. Yeah, seven p.m. Big E. Okay, is, is that? Biggie Smalls, 
I don't like Biggie Smalls. Back home for one night only. Big E. Blast off Space Kids. Astro Crunch. For cadets of all ages. Astro Crunch. What is this? 22 ounce for four. Yeah, that's a breakfast uh, cereal, right? Breakfast cereal advertisement. April 3rd. More Resident Evil. Just got to pound it in, you know. Play this demo over and over again. You'll be like, April 3rd is going to be in there if it isn't already. I know it is for me. Think about the 21st century. Will robots surpass humanity? Science form. Uh, 24th, 20th, October 1998. October 28th. No, what was it? September 28th. September 28th, daylight. If you guys remember uh, the original Resident Evil 3. Um, monologue there. Wear it out. Worn out tease. New location in town, RC. Uh, so you see the survivors in there. I mean, they're actually in there. I, I saw them in the cutscene. Just kind of surviving. <laughs> uh, that's the same poster. So all these are kind of the same poster, same poster. I sent Carlos to clear rubble from tracks. <laughs> Gives him chance to clear rubble from his brain. <laughs> nice. Can I get a first aid now? I guess you need it more than I do. Are there survivors back here too? Pretty empty back there. Hell squid. And tyrant of the deep. Oh, that looks like uh, a little bit like the aliens, uh, like a xenomorph, a little bit. They weren't extinct, only sleeping. Tyrant of the deep. <laughs> and hell squid. Hell squid's origins revealed. Uh, okay, another one is the same Resident Evil 3 poster. Another biggie poster. Looks like Terminator to me. Skull Stalker on the Red Planet. Especially you're talking about the time frame, 1998. I would think Terminator when I look at that. Uh, Skull Stalker, Adrift in Space. Got some crazy looking posters. Right, we saw those already. See these guys, reuse assets. Uh, more reused assets there. The clown. I think that's the only time I saw the clown one. And that is a scary looking one. So that would probably be a reference to the movie It, right? I mean, because that's, um, you know, this, this 1998. I don't know. Looks like a reference to the movie It to me. Don't know when the original came out. Uh, okay, so another one there. That's another reuse asset. This is a new one. Lobster. Jim's Crabs. Oh, Jim's Crabs. Is that the, um, like the diner um, for Resident Evil 3? If you play the original, the diner that you go in in Resident Evil 3 where you could either blow up the nemesis or you can hide in the basement. I don't recall, was that called Jim's Crabs? I could be wrong. So this door, you can't do anything with this door in the demo, but I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a door that's gonna be um, active in the full game. Dino Bite, so tasty they might go extinct. Red and yellow. Oh, these guys definitely look like the M&M's guys. I mean, the facial features, especially the yellow one here. The, you know, and aren't they aren't they red and yellow? The two M&M, uh, you know, they're uh, 
Eminem, the, the mascots or whatever. Yeah, they definitely look, I mean, they look a little scary too, but they <laughs> look like the Eminem guys. Anything else we could see here? Not in service. A lot of detail uh, added that they added into this to these games. Those posters over there almost look like different. I can't tell. No, they might be the same assets. Red Zone, Red Redstone Street. Okay. Rooms for let raccoon real estate. And we got the time there. Um, definitely not my local time. Uh, right now I'm going close to 130, 125 right now. I said to myself I was going to play this game late. Um, I got to wake up early. Um, but fortunately... I don't actually have to work tomorrow. Uh, I got tomorrow and Friday off. Not working remote yet, like uh, like most. Well, I don't know about most, but many people um, in in the U.S. where I'm where I'm from. Well, hopefully, sometime soon. Get to uh, spend some time at, at, at the house without without being a government mandated uh, uh, under under quarantine or uh, uh, martial law, whatever you want to call it, uh, restricted to the home. A lot going on. It keeps changing by the hour, you know. Shutter may cause serious yeah. Didn't really take a look at any of these magazines close up. Just looked like random ass magazines to me. kind of looking to see if I see anything that, you know, maybe stands out, could be referencing something, you know. The more I play it, uh, I'm sure the more I'll find. I'm so glad it's not a time demo. Um, when Resident Evil 2 demo came out, I think it was called One Shot Demo or something like that. When that demo came out, um, at least for PC, it was easy to, it was easy to hack, you know, with trainers or modified files to be able to um, remove the time limit. But at some point, you know, all demos have to end because, you know, just all assets aren't there. You know, you're not, you're not downloading the full game. You know, you're just downloading literally a boxed, uh, sandboxed uh, version of it. Just, just a portion. Um, this download was only eight gigs for the um, for the Xbox One. Air Combat 1942. Oh, that's Top Gun. That's a reference to Top Gun. I mean, right? Does that not look, look kind of like Tom Cruise? That's a, definitely a Top Gun reference. Command Team Mars. Carlisle's Off Duty. Command Team Mars. That's got to be a reference to something, too. Maybe I don't know if you guys uh, see that and uh, know an answer, you know, put it in the comments. Uh, bad Luck. Bad Luck Game. I don't know what that's about. Disaster. I wish I knew movies a whole lot better. Because I'm sure I'm missing so many references right now. Sudden Death Bowling. That looks like a freaking, um. 
what are they called? The um, uh, that movie with the little uh, little uh, troll-looking things that had no body. Um, God, it's been so long since I watched. It. I can't remember the name of the movie. There were a bunch of these little guys, and then they got together in a ball and were wreaking havoc through the town. And it was bad enough when they were um, when they were attacking people in groups and whatnot. That they, at one point in the movie, I think towards the end or something, they they all formed together in a ball and were like just rolling through the town. Um, God, I can't remember the name of that movie. Wolf of the Battlefield. Mm, okay. Man, it's, you know, it's going to be a really beautiful game, especially on PC. That's where I primarily, um, that's what I primarily play PC. Um, if you checked out one of my previous videos, the one before this, I kind of broke down um, my background as far as um, what kind of hardware I'm running, what kind of things I do on my PC. Uh, but yeah, it's mainly console um, emulation and PC gaming. Uh, and I also own a lot of consoles as well. Uh, but if you check out my Resident Evil 2 um, video that came out actually just before this one, just put out yesterday. I try to put out at least a video a day. Um, you know, the YouTube with this whole algorithm thing kind of rewards you for uh, for posting frequently, at least at least once a day. And of course, you know, YouTube punishes you in ways too. But you know. I think I looked up in the sky too much around here. Save cash here. So this is this is what the grocery stores look like uh, with the uh, pandemic that's going on right now. That's that sucks. And I I kid about that, but man, things are uh, things are kind of wild right now. Things are definitely. Getting crazier by the hour. I skipped watching the news tonight. I said, "No, nah, I'm just gonna just gonna zone out, uh, play some games." Um, I, mean, I figure a lot of people will be doing that. Maybe that's why GameStop's still open. It's hard enough for them to make a buck uh, without you know a lot of things shutting down. What's that up there? Umbrella sure sure uh, <laughs> sure likes to uh, make their uh, their image look nice and rosy, don't they? Tell Uncle everything you want. Super shop. Didn't see any more those uh, those bobblehead guys. Maybe they got one up somewhere high, or who knows? In a corner somewhere. Oh, the Stagler gas station. Oh, I know exactly what that is. Oh, I definitely know exactly what that. I play Resident Evil 3 a lot. The original. Um, I never stopped playing it, actually. So, that's from Resident Evil 3. The original, <coughs> that gas station, <coughs> that gas station. Uh, you blow up that you blow up that gas station. Well, the gas you don't blow it up, but the gas station blows up. Um, in in that game, and this is yep, it's a Stagler gas station. So I wonder uh, if we're gonna have a nice nice explosion scene uh, in the full blown version of this game. She's not feeling too well, is she? I mean, still on caution. Do 
Just kind of wandering my way, my way through here. So at this point, um, I still need to go and get, oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, I still need to go and get the shotgun. And a few other items. And then those bolt cutters will be of no use anymore. Um, the background noise um, and the environment is pretty cool. Check something here. Sorry if I'm making noise uh, on the microphone. I know I most likely am. What the hell is that? Raccoon Tunes. Every Saturday morning, 6.30 to noon. Okay, Raccoon City, you got Raccoon Tunes. Monster Shooter, is that like a reference to Monster Hunter? I think that's the Monster Hunter reference. All right, we looked at that already. What, what is this guy here? Big wave. Big wave. So there was like an arcade area or something like that, Resident Evil 3, that you'd walk through. Bubble beer, crisp refresher. We already looked in that store. The signs, I mean, they got so much going on. Uh-huh, what's happening? And I'm missing. A lot of handgun ammo left, though. Where are you going? Horrible timing. You gonna get up? Not anymore, you're not. What is that? Lone wolf cigarettes. I sure hope some of these um these cool looking buildings uh you're able to uh Storehouse Blue M Blue Mountain. Okay. Jim's crabs. Um. So maybe that's why I recall Jim's crabs because I've been playing this through this game enough. All right, so I went up to the roof already, grabbed some stuff. Yeah, it's really probably time to, uh... Oh, crap. I think that's a nine ball over there. There was a, uh... Like a pool hall or something? From the original? Like, I don't think there was any pool tables or anything like that, but there was like a, uh... There was a bar, that's what it was, it was a bar. Uh, that music. That's Street Fighter. Oh, that's definitely music that I've heard in Street Fighter. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put some of this stuff away. We can go ahead and make the shoddy shells now. Yep, 
this will probably be about it once I grab the shotgun we'll go see Nemi go see Nemi once more over there oh you're okay Jill you're fine Get the guys back in the back alley yet? I think I've really been over here much. Nope. A lot of, a lot of items over here I didn't grab yet. Hey. How you doing? that guy that he's gonna get up ah if I'd have hit it if I'd have just hit it a moment sooner there then he'd have been dead is she on danger no no heartbeat yet So, you know, when you when you use all these explosives and the um the transformer and whatnot, you're you're definitely giving yourself a hard time for when um <clears throat> for when Nemesis shows up. But hey, it's my fourth playthrough. I'm just like YOLO right now, shoot. Whatever. We're gonna make it happen. Wonderful shooting. Great. Yeah, it's getting late. Not that I'm playing that well anyway. Definitely some more items over here. Yep, and a zombie. Guess he didn't hear any of that. gunpowder yeah so last playthrough I I didn't think I got the high grade all the high grade uh, gunpowder but based on the looks of it I'm, I did um, I think you get like two of them and you know you get I don't know maybe five of the regular Gunpowder. Maybe we need to get him. Thank you, son. Should be something in this. Okay, there's some items that I need to pick up. May as well. Get this the closest item chest in here too. I 
she really makes a big deal out of being on caution, man. She seems like she is hurt. All right, let's get this one. I'm gonna put the knife away. Plenty of um, plenty of handgun ammo left. Kind of risking it without some, without more health, but you know, YOLO. I don't really need any strong, um, any more items really. Yeah. We we'll just need to pick up some more items and then we'll get ready for the finale. gunpowder I believe high, high, grade, high grade gunpowder I suppose <coughs> uh, I think this zombie's inactive we got one around the corner here nice shot So in here, there's nothing but like a document. There's nothing for you to actually do in here. Um, this must be the subway company's offices. This isn't the first time I played through in this live stream, so. <laughs> nothing. Once you pick up that fire hose, um, like I said before in the first playthrough, it's on. <laughs> That cop got towed up. So I think there'll be more zombies out here that are going to pop up. Um, oh, that's right. I, you have to go in the diner and then that's when they show up over there. Little 
the same point happens. Checkpoint, whatever you want to call it. Definitely a checkpoint, because, I mean, there are no saves in this thing. Alright, let's see if I can give Nemesis a run for his money. Um, or if I am going to get a run for my money. I'm trying to beat him. Don't need that. Don't need any more handgun ammo. It's going to be straight shotgun. Shotgun first. I see it. Yeah. If I can get enough off, I can put him down. Okay, so that's the first time. I put him down once. Go ahead and take a knee. Chill out. Take for the throw the grenade. Okay, she's just gonna take all that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I, I just took like a whole three piece. So the grenade is still equipped. But I guess when she's getting her ass kicked, it's hard for her to get that grenade throw off. Okay, he just jumped away or something. Well, that's kind of why I saved the explosives <laughs> for the for the end. I have no explosive barrels, uh, so now it's nothing but my shoddy against Nemesis. Uh, I'll make him spawn again. I think he'll spawn over here. Yeah, there you go. And he's really, really fast. When you get over here, he kind of jumps away. Um, because over here is pretty much the end. shit around too much he's gonna he's gonna get me but I'm doing it anyway oh that was a good one oh but she's hurt she's hurt bad yeah yep I think that's about it Yeah. 
chill. You are one dirty broad. And you seem like you're in a lot of pain. After this, I'm gonna let the uh, okay four of twenty dolls destroy. If there are sixteen more in this demo, I'd be very surprised. At least I had no deaths this time. It's the first time I actually ran through the demo without actually dying. Um, so I'm gonna let this ride out. Um, of course, do the usual things. You know, like, dislike. Uh, subscribe um, greatly appreciate it I will stream uh, this game again tomorrow um, and then we're off to Doom Eternal uh, I'm gonna play a few of these trailers and I'm gonna get my ass some sleep. There's so many. In here! My god. No, no, no! They're gonna get through! Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here! <laughs> You're all right. You're all right to stretch. Stop and do what? I got your back. Go. Go! Glock sticky. You better hurry. Sorry. Look out! Let's do this. Um, so <clears throat> just want to say thanks a lot for watching guys um, you know like comment subscribe the normal stuff um, appreciate you guys and um, have a good night I am going to take my behind to sleep I'm gonna go ahead and play these uh, trailers that are built into this demo uh, located right here um, go ahead well, I'll go ahead and play the la play all four of them. I'd like to see them probably, uh, probably myself uh, before I before I hit the sack. All right, see you guys. There's so many. In here. My God. No, no, no! They gotta get through. Somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. What was that? Tabu! Kendo, you're all right. You're all, all right to stretch. Stop and do what? I got your back. Go. Go! Glock sticky. You better hunt. Sorry. Look out! Let's do this. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep this morning. Oh. You gotta stay strong. Okay, do? Don't give in to fear out there, right? How did this right, happen? Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Send reinforcements. No. Wait. Hurry up. Get up. Get up. Help me.
hell? How could this many people be infected? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an infected. But right now, it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Star's office has to be in this direction. It gets worse every night. They don't want the world to know what they've done. Oh, my head. What's wrong with Umbrella? Get in! I can't stop them all! You gotta get out of there! You guys are the ones who caused all of this! No, 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 wait! Oh, come on. Ah! We've gotta be dreaming. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Corp. Yeah. 